Warehousing is one of the most critical components of a supply chain. But what exactly is warehouse management? And also, what is a warehouse management system? I'm gonna talk about that here today. My name is Eric Kimberling. I'm the CEO of Third Stage Consulting. We're an independent consulting firm that helps clients throughout the world with their digital transformation journeys. And most of our clients are somehow involved with supply chains. And within their supply chains, they have warehouses. They have a product that they're trying to sell that needs to be received and distributed to others within the supply chain. And it's a very complex function, this whole concept of warehousing and warehouse management. And there's a lot of technologies out there that can help you automate your warehouses. So what I want to do in today's video is talk about what is warehouse management, but also talk about what is a warehouse management system and how does that warehouse management system potentially help you automate your warehouse. Probably the most fundamental aspect to understand about warehouse management is the concept of inventory management. If you think about a warehouse or a big distribution center, there's tons of raw materials and there's tons of finished goods and tons of work in progress being stored in those warehouses. And so managing that inventory, managing those assets and the cost of that inventory is critical, not only from a cost perspective, but also making sure that you have the right raw materials and the right finished products at the right time so that you can service your customers in a timely fashion and in an accurate fashion. So one of the keys to effective warehouse management is just keeping track of the inventory, knowing how much inventory you have on hand, knowing where it is within your warehouse, and knowing how you're gonna get it out the door to your customers. Now, there are a few things to consider when you think about warehouse management. The first is to understand the different dimensions of inventory management. So you have raw materials, which are the raw materials you receive into the warehouse, and those raw materials oftentimes will go to your factory floor or to some other process within your organization to be completed. And then you have the finished goods, which are the finished goods that are gonna go out to your customers. They're the ones that are going to go out the dock, get loaded on a truck, and sent out to your customers. So those are the different dimensions and types of inventory that you're typically managing within a warehouse. The next dimension of inventory management to be aware of is storage locations. So storage locations are specific areas within your warehouse where a raw material or a finished good is being stored. And the key reason why this is so important is when you get an order and you need to fill an order, you need to know where to look in the warehouse. And so your warehouse management software will typically show you where that inventory is and what the storage location or storage bin is so that your warehouse crew can go get those materials or those finished products. And then finally, another consideration that sort of relates to inventory management, but it's just a broader subset of warehouse management in general, is the overall warehouse design. Because you're gonna have different places that you put different inventories. So for example, your raw materials are probably gonna be staged somewhere where it's close to where they're being unloaded off of the trucks, or it's being staged somewhere close to where it needs to go next, whether it's to your manufacturing shop floor or somewhere else within your organization. You also have your finished goods, which are typically staged together in a place where they can easily be accessed to the docks and ultimately to the trucks that are gonna take the products away. So that whole flow of goods throughout your warehouse is something that's very important. It's an important part of inventory management as well. Now a critical process or function within warehouse management is the whole pick, pack, and ship process. And this is when you go pull whatever material it is you need to ship out to your end customer or to ship out to your shop floor. You go to the warehouse, to the storage location, and you pick the product. You need to pack the product. So if you're shipping to your end customer, you pack it the way it needs to be packed. You scan it on the barcodes, you print the labels, you put it in the packing materials that it needs to be put into, and then ultimately you ship the product. So again, this is where technology and software can help you automate some of these processes. You think about these big massive distribution centers and warehouses with all the storage locations and all the different docking stations and places where trucks can pick up, and there's a lot to manage. So software and technology can help automate the process to ensure that you're keeping track of the inventory so that your pick, pack, and ship process is more smooth than it would be otherwise. Another thing to think about in addition to systems that might manage these warehouse functions is the whole idea of robotics. You're starting to see more robotics now that will go retrieve products and materials from the warehouse storage location. So it automates that process either by having a robot pull the product off the shelf, putting it on a conveyor belt, and then sending it to where it needs to go on the conveyor belt. Or in some cases, there are robotics out there that can take a product off the shelf and take it itself all the way to wherever it needs to go. So these are just a couple examples of how technologies can help automate 
that pick, pack, and ship process. But regardless of what technology you do or don't use, pick, pack, and ship is a critical part of warehouse management. Now, even with the best technologies, keeping track of your inventory levels and what each of your SKUs or stock keeping unit inventory levels are, human behavior and human interaction with the systems can oftentimes result in those inventory levels getting out of sync. And there are a couple of reasons for that. One is because you might have humans that forget to scan a product when they take it off the shelf. Right there, if they do that, they forgot to scan the product, but they took it off the shelf and they shipped it out the door or they sent it somewhere else. Now all of a sudden the system doesn't know where your inventory is. You also have theft. So sometimes depending on what industry you're in, you might have high value items that walk out the door with some of your employees, in which case you would see a discrepancy in the system versus what is actually physically there. Now the way that most warehouses manage this process and ensure that they keep the system in sync with some of these human errors or human issues that contribute to inaccuracies is to do cycle counts and physical inventories. And physical inventories are usually something that's done annually and it's a very detailed count of every product within the warehouse. Very time consuming, you usually have to shut the warehouse down, you usually need all hands on deck to go uh, count everything. But in general, that's an annual undertaking that most warehouses undergo. But in between those annual physical inventories, you also have cycle counts. And cycle counts could be anywhere from four to eight weeks duration that you're, you're doing those cycle counts. And that's just going to count certain items. They're usually high value or high moving, high volume items that are more likely to have discrepancy. You'll go count those more often than the ones that are less value or the ones that are moving more slowly in your inventory. So physical inventories and cycle counts are two important processes that help ensure that your inventory levels within a warehouse stay in sync. Another key part of warehouse management is making sure that you have the right inventory levels. In the past and historically, organizations would often focus on keeping a just-in-time inventory level. So basically the lowest possible inventory level that also prevents stockouts. So this is meant to reduce the dollars that are sitting in your warehouse by having too much inventory. You would want to make sure you get, ideally, the inventory in the door right when you needed it and no sooner, no later. With the pandemic and supply chain disruptions that organizations are seeing more recently here in the 2020s though, that's becoming less of a priority and organizations are actually stocking up on inventory in a way they haven't in years past. But whatever your goals and objectives are, there needs to be a, a clear and deliberate strategy to how you manage these inventory levels and that you find the right optimal level of inventory. And you might have different strategies and different tactics for different types of inventory. So if it's really high volume stuff or very critical components that you need to make sure you have, or if you, if you run out, you're gonna disrupt your entire production supply chain, then you might keep more inventory on hand of that product. If it's a slower moving product that you rarely use, then you might have a lower inventory level because there's low risk of you running out. And if you do run out, it's not gonna be a huge deal. So you might look at inventory in different ways, but in general, you wanna make sure you have the right inventory optimization. And you wanna make sure you use warehouse management software to automate and optimize those inventory levels depending on what your goals and objectives are. Now, in order to tie all this together, there's a concept called warehouse management systems. And these WMS technologies can be ways to automate your processes to tie together the data, the information, and the workflows that tie together your warehouse. Now, there's three different layers of technologies that you might leverage for your WMS or warehouse management software. First is a focused best of breed warehouse management system. So this would be technologies such as High Jump or JDA or Blue Yonder, technologies that focus specifically on warehouse management. There's a second layer or a second bucket of WMS options, which is part of a broader solution, which is supply chain management. So there are supply chain vendors out there like Manhattan Associates, for example, that provide more complete, comprehensive supply chain technologies that not only handle warehouse management, but they also handle procurement, freight, logistics, transportation management, et cetera. So that's another bucket you could consider for your automating your warehouse. And then the third bucket would be the broader enterprise-wide ERP systems. And those are enterprise resource planning technologies that not only do warehouse management, not only do supply chain, but they also do financials, general inventory management, accounting, CRM and sales, human capital management and HR, et cetera. So there's a lot of different technologies to choose from, and a lot of it depends on what your strategy is for your overall digital strategy and roadmap. 
And for more information about these vendors, I encourage you to look at some of the top 10 rankings of WMS vendors, as well as top 10 rankings of supply chain management vendors, and also top 10 rankings of ERP vendors. And to get this information, I encourage you to download our annual digital transformation report. It includes these top 10 rankings as well as others. It includes independent software reviews as well as other best practices to make your digital transformation more successful. So I encourage you to download these and other resources in the links in the description field below. So I hope you found this information useful. Hope you have a great day.